Hey guys, what's up? Lightbolt Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2012 comedy Goon, starring Sean William Scott and Jay Baruchel and Liev Schreiber, whose name I can never actually pronounce, and so many other people. So many other people. So many people are in this movie. It's fantastic. I'm wearing my <laughs> my jersey, my Goon jersey. I'm wearing my Doug Glatt. Highlanders jersey, it's a 69 on the back, because 69, it's hilarious! Is the number 69 taken? This movie is such a perfect quote movie, dude. Like, I cannot stress enough how awesome this movie is. My brother actually gave me this, this jersey for a birthday gift how many years ago. It's all I wanted. It's this custom jersey that I that I, I got from some person on eBay, and it's it's just gorgeous, and it's Super big in case I was to ever wear padding, right? Like, I'm gonna get a bat wings. Woo, I wanna fly away. No, I'm not. This movie is a f hockey movie, technically. I'm not really big on sports movies, but like, it's a fighting movie as well. But it's just a hilarious movie filled with quotes, filled with. Different Canadian cultures that I didn't know existed. I didn't know certain parts of Canada was primarily French speaky with a heavy accent versus other parts. I mean, I knew that, but I didn't like see that. In this movie, I saw it. Like, I didn't know that the name Xavier is actually pronounced Xavier, which is awesome. Awesome. I remember I was at Dorney Park with my family once, and I, this dad was talking to his, his son, Xavier, and I was like, oh, your name's Xavier? This little, this, you know, maybe like seven or eight year old little black kid. Adorable. And um, his dad was looking at me like, why am I talking to this kid's, like, why is this dude talking to my son? And I was like, oh, do you know how to say your name in French? And he, the kid's like, no. And I was like, oh, so is Xavier in French is Xavier. How cool does that sound, Xavier? And his dad's like, wait, it's Xavier? And I was like, yeah, isn't that awesome? And he's like, yeah, that actually is awesome. So then <laughs> I heard the kid say to his dad when I was leaving, he was like, can we, I'm going to be Xavier for the day. And his dad's like, can you be Xavier for the day and for however long you want, because that's awesome. And I felt so happy to instill this knowledge. And the only reason I knew that is because one of the main characters is Xavier Laflemme, who is a badass hockey player. Awesome dude. The actor, whose name I can never remember, is an awesome dude as well. So many quotes. But why I, I am obsessed with this film, why this is my number one go-to film for anything, is the memories that I have with this movie. Summer 2012 was lit AF. Lit AF. Before lit AF was even a thing, that's what summer 2012 was. Summer 2012 was epic it was so awesome i had these awesome lightning bolt, bolt sideburns i had this crazy curly hair i was just surfer and skater bro out and it was awesome i had this awesome group of friends we would hang out like three four times a week through work and, and such and like every time we hung out we would watch this movie three four times a week for an entire four months we would watch this movie and it was hilarious it got to a point where these friends who were just introduced to it beginning of the summer, knew every line a month into watching it because we would watch it three to four times a week. That was the movie. So many memories, especially in this room of us crammed in, however, 10, 15, 20 kids just crammed into this room watching the TV, which was that away, my right, your left. Laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing and, and this was also during the time where uh, Pitch Perfect was the thing. So we would, you know, be doing the cup song while watching Goon, and we would be uh, just playing out the next day and playing Quelf, which is a hilarious board game, which I got so tired of because I would play it about eight times a week. Literally, no joke, there was one week where I played it literally eight times in seven days, and I was like, oh God, I gotta stop. Uh, too much of a good thing, it uh, physically hurts the mind. But that's the thing. I was, I was saying a while ago that certain movies give you certain memories with certain people. So why are certain movies important to you? This movie is important to me because of all of the great times that I had, all the good times that I had with these people, watching this film, laughing our asses off, enjoying life, not a care in the world. We didn't care if it rained the next day. We didn't care if, if you know, 
the movie we wanted to see was sold out. We would just watch Goon and just laugh and skate around the block and just take our ripsticks and scooters and skateboards and things and just find Blacktop and play Frisbee and play Can Jam and it's just so many happy memories. So many happy memories. And that's what I strive to do for you guys. Find a film that brings you these happy memories. It could be watching The Little Mermaid with your mom one day or like watching Shrek with your grandpa another day or like just things like that you know like we all have these memories attached to these movies and that's the thing I want to join I want to have you guys join in on these conversations join in on these discussions this is the pure authenticness that I have been striving for with these reviews let's talk about it did you like Goon did you see Goon do you have memories about the movie Goon because I have memories about the movie Goon and I just shared them I would love to quote every line in that movie, but it's riddled with profanity, and if I, I'm going to try my best not to do any of that right now. But it is a great movie about questioning yourself. Where do you fit in? Where do you belong? How do you become one of the assistant captains, one of the captains, right, for the team? I put it to the A because Doug deserved the A, and Xavier didn't deserve the A. Xavier's A got ripped off. It was a dramatic scene. It's fun. It is a fun movie. It's on Netflix. I know that for a fact because I just watched it the other day on Netflix, even though I own it myself, but still, it's, it's a fun fact. On that note, if you haven't seen it, give it a try, right? And if you want to bounce, then bounce. Like a basketball? No, like a bouncer? Recording a movie. <laughs> Goon! So a 10 out of 10 bolts. Mucho mahalo, guys.